Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm FD for SageFab.tv and welcome to our channel. If you are new, please, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you are returning viewer, guys, I cannot thank you enough. It's you who keep giving us the motivation to keep pushing forward and keep bringing some quality, quality updates and projects to the wider community. So we want to grow the channel. So please consider subscribing to our channel as well as clicking like and the notification bell. It doesn't cost you a thing. And also, without further ado, today we are going to bring you a review of a project that belongs to a, an ecosystem that we've been making some noises in recent weeks but it's also a project i've been looking at for quite a while i think since the last bull run it's a project i was paying attention to and if you've been following us in recent weeks and months then you have come across one of the channel's latest crypto darlings and here i'm talking of internet computer or icp for more information on icp please follow the links in the description to some resources and videos we posted on icp now today's video is not about icp CP, but as a channel, we have decided to showcase some of the most promising projects built on top of IPC. And today we are featuring Origin, spelled as O I R G Y N, an open protocol that supports extraordinarily rich digital certificates capable of housing data, images, documents, multimedia, and entire applications issued and fully secured on the internet computer, which is the fastest and the greenest blockchain in existence. That's a bold claim, but we'll give them that. An open trust protocol operating entirely on chain origin includes a broad suite of solutions and technologies built by the origin ecosystem to protect physical and digital assets and reduce industry friction through web3 tools focused on increasing transparency data sovereignty and consumer trust so why did origin foundation choose to build on internet computer well the speed and scalability for starters the ability to replicate web2 experiences fully on chain and there are also operational costs for example it costs roughly $5 to store 1 gigabyte per year on ICP versus up to 15 million on Ethereum. Wow, that is a 3 million X cheaper. If you're a business, your argument has been made for you. There is also sustainability. Internet computer only utilizes about 2% of Ethereum's energy consumption per transaction and 0.18% that of Bitcoin. So again, it's a no-brainer. As far as decentralization is concerned, applications are hosted fully on-chain to allow for true decentralization. And as far as security is concerned, it enables the ability to build inherently secure and unhackable way. And interoperability, the seamless integration with Bitcoin and EVM compatible layer ones and layer two chains. So what are Origin Foundation's value proposition? According to Origin Protocol, the internet computer is the only public blockchain with the scalability, performance, storage costs, security, and sustainability required to develop and manage the Origin Protocol. The Origin platform and technology stack include including this underlying blockchain infrastructure are highly energy efficient and green. I think that's a solid value proposition. The scalability speed and storage cost of the internet computer enable Origin to store very large decentralized data sets affordably for the benefit of ecosystem partners globally. Now on some key features for Origin Foundation. There is Origin for business and under that there are two ways for businesses to benefit from the Origin protocol. Businesses do so by joining or championing a new industry that is leveraging the origin digital certification platform to issue digital certificates for valuable assets and to explore new business opportunities through origin's next generation nft standards businesses can also plug any existing infrastructure or business software into the ecosystem's supercharged web3 backend using origin's apis the origin digital certificate takes the most important business data like images pdfs object data records videos mdas intellectual property and much more and secure that data permanently inside a secure forgery proof customizable digital certificate to make the certificate management smooth and ideal for business the origin platform offers its perpetual operating system or perpetual os which integrate the following there is the origin certificate engine and this includes novel solutions and minting technologies that streamline the entire certification process for industry partners making digital certificates easier to create store manage customize and circulate and then we we have the origin certificate template builder which enables users to create custom certificate templates with unique designs and data fields. and finally we have the origin certificate management platform which allows users to create and manage certificates and access analytics from one simple dashboard empowering businesses to make the decisions that most benefit their customers origin also offers a variety of open source apis for businesses and developers this includes the marketplace api minting api and data api after 
origin for business we also have origin for consumers origin makes it easier to access and use blockchain technology this includes storing viewing transferring digital certificates and tokens using secure but easy to use interfaces that lower the barrier to entry into blockchain for consumers for more on use cases please refer to the use case section that is going to follow uh, later on within this video now as part of our review of origin we are going to be applying our usual 13 elements and those 13 elements are as follows we've got decentralization security interoperability scaling the project team the edge of the project project use cases social media presence via twitter and via discord as well as the project is tokenomics so starting with decentralization applications are hosted fully on chain to allow for true decentralization holders of ogy i don't want to call it og it will sound weird so ogy is the ticker symbol for origin foundation token so holders of ogy tokens can directly influence the origin network by staking their ogy tokens and voting on proposals by participating in decision making process these take token holders earn rewards and govern collectively and democratically. Origin's decentralized governance system empowers all stakeholders to actively engage with and influence the network as a collaborative ecosystem. But while anyone can create an account to interact with the Origin platform, there is still an element of centralization within this project in my opinion, and that is just my own opinion and it's not financial advice. As far as security is concerned, Origin enables the ability to build in an inherently unhackable way by leveraging internet computer security. For more on internet computer security please follow the links to the original DYO a video we did on internet computer down in the description section as far as scaling is concerned origin leverages the speed and scalability of internet computer along with its ability to replicate web 2 experiences fully on chain internet computer scales with more usage the more users or canisters the faster it gets because it's spreading the load now on to interoperability with internet computers ability to seamlessly integrate with bitcoin and evm compatible layer ones and layer two chains origin facilitates bridges to bitcoin network as well as ethereum now onto the project team according to linkedin there are approximately 30 team members social media presence via twitter origin boasts just over 83,300 twitter followers and unfortunately there was no information readily available about the official discord channel for origin foundation now onto some use cases for origin ticker symbol ogy the origin token or ogy is the native utility token of the origin platform OGY is used to create digital certificates and is required to access and utilize the origin platform. The OGY token is a utility token by the standards put forward by the Swiss regulators, FINMA, regarding token classification and it is traded publicly. The OGY holders may help to govern the overall ecosystem and participate in surplus economic value. This includes voting on proposals, which are a core principle in decentralized governance. OGY token holders can file proposals to enact changes within the origin ecosystem we also have the origin vault or wallet which is a next generation application designed to store transfer and manage digital certificates and related services eliminating the need for paper certificates while securing data forever on an impenetrable ledger and streamlining customer service and digital touch points via both desktop and mobile services or devices we also have the origin value adding services here consumers may access a range of value adding services from within their own next generation digital certificates including insurance policies and claims lost and stolen alerts financing and collateral services warranties service appointments and records life event and heritage data appraisal history marketplace functionality and much more so in summary origin platform is attempting to facilitate traceability authenticity and tradability now on to tokenomics for origin this is going to be an interesting one and a strange one for that the tokenomics for origin are quite interesting and here you'll see why i say this the tokenomics are now in their third iteration with more tokens minted to accommodate the changing economics for origin originally it started as 10 billion from what we came across that in itself is not a small number for a project of its size now i'm not in any way suggesting that there are rules and parameters on what the token supply should be for specific crypto projects of a certain size but 10 billion screams we want to dump on you there, okay these are project creators or owners saying we want to be rich 10 billion for what you could have one token and split it 10 billion come on the next issue i have is that things such as taking appear to not have been included from the beginning what what you can't just start creating new tokens because you forgot i was taking that baffles me anyway enough said on that i could be wrong what i'm trying to highlight here is that revising tokenomics in itself is not a new thing 
but the reason behind why Origin Foundation has had to revise their techonomics is simply questionable, in my view anyway. What do you think if you hold Origins or GUI tokens? What are your thoughts? The irony of it all is that for a project created to safeguard what is essentially to any transactions for both physical and digital goods, uh, that is trust, Origin has effectively failed to follow its own mission through its questionable tokenomics. That was my conclusion when I looked at those tokenomics. And here are the numbers anyway. Ticker symbol or GUI or Origin token. A token supply 10.6 according to the third iteration of the tokenomics. Considering what I've stated earlier, I cannot categorically state that we have a hard cap, so we are going to go with there is no hard cap. Why? I don't know when they are going to decide to change the math on tokens again. I know it's a bit harsh, but sometimes you got to be like that because something is not right here. Circulating supply 8.07 billion. Token distribution. The Origin Foundation 27.57%. Team and founders 17.68%. Investors 18.2%. Origin Ecosystem Funds 12.47%. Origin Rewards Account 9.6%. GLDT SNS. I have no idea what that is. 4.8%. DAOs for Good 2.88%. Strategic Partners 1.59%. Circulation 1.37%, Origin Treasury Account 0.96%, Bounty and Airdrop 0.96%, BRC20 Bridge 0.96%, and another BRC20 Bridge again 0.96%. So you can tell they forgot to include the most crucial parts of the tokenomics by just overdoing the splitting of these tokens. What were they trying to hide? This screams red flag to me but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt why they're doing something that no one else is doing out there and they're also building on top of the most promising layer one ever created why internet computer is just different forget about what people say about being a pawns or whatever because of the way it was launched i think internet computer is just in its own class for what it does nothing compares to it as far as i'm concerned to date i mean there will be other projects who are trying to do some of the things internet computer is doing but for what is doing and its use cases and its features internet computer is in in a class of one from my point of view i'm not saying this because i'm a moon boy for internet computer i now hold internet computer in my private portfolio but i'm just stating things as they are let's move on so according to our own analysis inside the token allocation for origin sits at over 80 percent and that's no small fit and that explains this breakdown of their token supply it is also important to note that the origin team is aiming to introduce a banning mechanism with its tokenomics 3.0 and is promising not to mint any more new tokens <laughs> trust me bro no i'm afraid the horse is bolted on this one trust is hard won but is easily lost in that thing for such a promising project people are always going to be settling on one foot and the other foot waiting to go they won't settle fully in this project which is a pity because i think it's offering something that not any project is offering out there i could be wrong but that's my view anyway so like i said as part of our dur or risk evaluation we are going to be applying our 13 elements and those 13 elements are as follows you got decentralization security scaling interoperability the project team social media presence via twitter and via discord edge of the project project use cases tokens issued at project launch total tokens in circulation at the time of recording maximum tokens available as well as inside the token allocation so yeah the scores we've allocated to origin across the 13 elements on decentralization 5.10 on security seven and a half points out of ten on scaling seven and a half points out of ten on interoperability ten points out of ten project team seven and a half points out of ten on social media present via twitter seven and a half points out of ten social media via discord it's non-existent zero points age of the project five points out of ten our uh, project use cases seven and a half points tokens issued at project launch five points out of ten tokens in circulation at the time of recording five points out of ten maximum tokens are available there's no hard cap from my point of view zero points out of ten and inside a token allocation sitting at over eighty percent way too high for our liking do you guys agree with the scores we've allocated to origin let us know in the comment section and if you are a participant within the internet computer ecosystem do you hold origin or have you considered holding it one of the things i also came across is the tokens are not easily accessible but i think they are valuable for maxi i think centralized exchange and there's also bitru another centralized exchange anyway guys 
What are your thoughts on the scores we've allocated to Origin, which gives us a total of 67.5%, which puts Origin within the could go to zero category. We had to perform an extended evaluation because we are trying to bring more light to the internet computer ecosystem because not many people are talking about internet computer or they may be talking about internet computer, but they are not highlighting some of the good work being done by the projects within that ecosystem. And to us, this is the first of many projects that we are going to be highlighting on this channel that are building on internet computer. Any thoughts, guys, let us know in the comment section. And if there are any projects you want us to review and uh, publish here on YouTube, please, please let us know in the comment section. Is Origin a project that I hold currently? No, but I may just put a Degen bag into Origin protocol and leave it. If it goes to zero, I'll keep 99.99% of my portfolio. If it does 100x, that's a bonus. Until the next video, I'm your host for Sage5.tv signing out for now. Bye. Bye.